today i'm going to give you a, a good knowledge uh, in a shortcut which you can use in excel in your works it is very easy it is very useful and it is very important shortcut sir uh, which will which 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 will help you to uh, save your time okay when you make uh, the sheets google um, google um, excel sheets first we are going to do this a tick and cross what is tick and cross see i will show you here if i am typing see this is a question seven questions are there whether it's right we can tick it uh, um, tick and uh, if it is wrong we can do wrong and uh, this is a uh, right this is wrong this is right and this is wrong and this is right okay so tick and cross we can put with a green color and red color how to do this in excel this is the one shortcut uh, i will show you how to do this i have given the same questions down and in this column we have to type a tick and a cross how to do this in which cell you have to do this select those column or those cells then first you have to change the font click in the font cell font font box then go down just very down you can see wingdings 2 okay wingdings 2 font you have to select now in this column wingdings 2 now the first cell you select here you need a tick for that shift plus a p see now it is a tick is coming shift plus a o that is a cross marker okay like this we can do so select this cell then select a conditional format highlight cell rules and equal to equal to which one when you are typing shift plus p you are getting tick so you type here shift p shift p means a capital p when you click capital p what we have to change we have to change the color color of this letter means not that tick into green okay select a custom format there you select a change automatic to green color then make it bold okay finished then click okay now you can if you put a tick mark we can see the red, uh, green color see when you change green color okay it is a green color see green color key now cross we have to change select this column and select a conditional format select this one equal to here shift plus o that means a capital o capital o we have to change into red color custom format select the red color and make it bold okay now it is a red color so i am giving here cross see this is a cross okay this is the method to change the cross and cross in red and uh, green color very interesting uh, shortcut okay remember shift plus p for tick and uh, shift plus o for cross next is hide column and row so when you work with uh, google sheets or uh, excel sheet uh, sometimes you need to hide some uh, columns uh, from the users okay we can use a shortcut to hide the column and rows very easy so which column you want to hide uh, this is a d column you want to hide, uh, hide uh, if you want to hide uh, this is a d column select any cell in this uh, then control plus uh, zero see that column hidden you can see after c it's e d it's a um, that that column was hidden okay now if you want to uh, hide more than one column select uh, how many columns 1 2 3 4 four columns you want to hide control 0 see everything was disappeared now just like you can hide uh, the row also select this one and uh, control plus 9 see that one 
disappeared. See, after 9, it is only 11. See, 10 disappeared. Like that, if you want two more than one, select those cells, then control 9. Everything hidden. See, 9 after 9, it is only 15. So, that was disappeared. So, this is the method to hide the column and row. You remember, control 0 to hide the column and control plus 9 to hide the rows. How to insert the rupee symbol with the amount? Okay, this is, is easy method in Excel. By using this shortcut, you can make you can make any amount with the Indian rupee symbol. Here you can see one column amount paid. These are the rupees, but there is no any Indian rupee symbol. Dollar is there in the keyboard. But how can we add the rupees symbol? easily by using a shortcut method the shortcut method is actually control plus a dollar control plus a dollar we can add to get the dollar how to shift dollar symbol is with the number key 4 so shift plus 4 you will get a dollar symbol okay so to get that dollar we are telling we are pressing this shift key so actually it is a shortcut is a control plus a dollar symbol so, for that, control plus, shift plus 4. 4 means that is dollar key. So, I am doing that by selecting this 444, four, four, control, shift, dollar. See, you can see the Indian rupee symbol came. So, uh, to add uh, together, select a full and a control, shift, dollar symbol. Everything, see, we added. And one more thing, the decimal point also. See, Indian rupee, 3, 3, 2, 2. Like that, we are adding, no, for uh, comma, comma, after 3, then 2, 2, 2, no, in comma, in digit, uh, means this um, rupees, the, or that also will make automatically. Uh, and if you want to uh, make it uh, earlier, before typing this number, we can do that. Uh, Select uh, that column where you want to type and uh, press click control shift uh, dollar symbol. Now this cell is ready to type that. Uh, whenever you type a digit, uh, for example 200, automatically the, uh, the, the symbol will come there when you enter. See you can see. So now we can type simply the um, so dollar symbol will come sorry the rupee symbol will come um, automatically there in that column here i am going to add the percentage symbol to a, a to a results for example this is a mark of uh, some students so they are getting total here and here we need the percentage how to get percentage usually we are doing is equal to the mark which he got and divide by the total subject mark into 100. Why we are adding into 100 to make it percentage. Now we will get a 80.8 .80 percentage mark. Okay. Here how to add the percentage mark I will, I will show that first one. Uh, firstly I will show you how to add the percentage mark. Uh, see, select the column wherever you want uh, the symbol. Okay, there control shift uh, that symbol sign that uh, percentage symbol. So now that column is ready. So when you type, that percentage is coming. See, whatever number you are typing, the percentage symbol automatically will uh, come with that number only with the number. Okay. This is the method. How to do this? Control shift percentage. And when you do the percentage calculation in Excel sheet, that please be careful because to get percentage, we are typing into 100 always. Okay, in the equation. But if you make the cells into the percentage format by using this shortcut, Again, no need to type the into 100, into 100, into 100 in the equation to get the percentage. Only achieved mark and the total mark. That's enough. No need to type into 100. See, this column I have made by using the short key, control, shift plus 
percentage. Now this column is ready with the percentage. In this column, known into type into 100 in the equation to get percentage. See here I am going to type the equation. Here we typed a is equal to the mark he got and divide by total mark into 100. Then only we got a percentage. Okay. So we are dragging down. So we got all the percentage. And uh, here already we have added the percentage symbol there. So no need to type the into 100. So see is equal to the mark he got divided by total mark is enough into 100 no need to see enter now 81 why 81 because this is 80.80 .80. this is decimal point one is there there is no. if you want to see with the one decimal point you select this one format cells percentage select one decimal point then okay now you can see 80.80 .80. same mark and you drag down all the mark you will get easily okay this is the method to get to add the percentage symbol with the numbers remember control shift percentage symbol present time and present date how to get a date you know the equation is equal to today bracket open and bracket close enter now we got a today's date time is equal to now bracket open and bracket close enter now we go to the time this is the method you know we can get the time and date by using the shortcut also how to get that here data to get a you simply press control press control and a semicolon see the date has come there and to get a time control shift colon date and time we got up uh, but there's there is a difference between these two time and date this is known as a dynamic result and this is known as a static result. What is the difference between dynamic and static? Dynamic means when you select this date, you can see here today is equal to today bracket open and close. Back end you can see this one. And when you select a time, you can see now after one minute if you re refresh now, this time will become 116. Okay, time and date will be changed. That is a dynamic result. But here, in the static results, whatever typed, whatever date and time you made here, if you open tomorrow and after one week also, the same date and time you can see. See, when I am selecting this 7 for 2021, you can see the same date here. And here, 115, 150 means here it is showing 24 hours, okay, 1350. Always it will show like this whenever you open the sheet, the static uh, result, okay. Next is also very uh, easy. Sometimes uh, we are struggling to move to here and there. Uh, see, in the in the Excel sheet, uh, this is the one page. Uh, see, af this is after M. You can see some more sheets are there, some more columns are there. And here we can see, uh, you can only till 18 rows. Okay, after that again, till 30, no, 44 column rows are there. And the column is till V, okay, English letter V. So to move in this area, so we need a, suddenly if you want to move to the last entered column, to the last entered column, how to the select any, any, any cell and shift, uh, press control plus right arrow, right arrow, okay, see we reach the the end column where we entered something after that nothing entered and uh, if you want to go down to the last cell which you have something entered uh, control plus down see the last column last row we reached uh, and if you want to go the first column from here to left uh, control plus left key see we reached we reached the
more thing if you want to go very last cell of this sheet excel sheet select one blank page blank cell then uh, select control plus down arrow see we reach the you reach the last cell of this page you can see here 10 lakh 48000 576 rows we can see in the excel sheet this is the last row of excel sheet like that if you put control plus right arrow you can reach a xfd okay this is the last column of a excel sheet again control left arrow and again control up arrow we reached in the top okay this is the method to move on this excel page Now it is a very useful shortcut. Uh, it will it will save your time. Okay, I will show you how to use this. So this is a num a, a, a mark of a child. He got uh, in different different test paper. Test one, test two, test three, test four, test five. For English, for second language, for math, science, and social science. Okay, we need a subject total. How many mark he got? Uh, for English subject only for five test paper okay how to get the total you know is equal to then adding this formula sum then bracket open then we are selecting the um, cell reference number then bracket close enter we got the total and we are dragging down we got all marks here also we are adding same formula sum from here to here we are dragging then we are dragging from to here then we are getting for total so this much process we have to do to get this sum of these marks of this child but very easily we can find it within within one second we can we will get the answer by using a shortcut how to do i am removing this one i will show you how to do the shortcut method is a alt plus is equal to see the mark we got and you can drag uh, to down easily okay like that here also we can we will get a simply alt plus is equal to enter and we can drag this is the one method and to get it together what to do you select this full column you select this full column and uh, you alt is equal to together we got and here also select a full then alt is equal to now we got a full total okay now i'll make you once more very easy method uh, if you want to get the total of this uh, total of this mark here right side one uh, column and if you want to get this total of uh, these marks down okay select from here to here then where you need the co for, for total of this uh, uh, english this first column you select one more column and select one more row okay now we selected a uh, one more column and one more row friends you 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 type uh, you use this method uh, when you add this one no need to type all this uh, equation there to get sum alt is equal to okay see in one cell if you need more than one line what to do you are selecting this cell and using the wrap text you are typing this one when you reach in the border it will go down okay that is the method we are typing the different different so but when you increase size it will go up now it is a two line now it is a three line now it is a four lines like that it will go it will change but we need a specific word in one line second word second line third word third line what to do that which is a shortcut for this i will show you in this column i have to type uh, three subjects uh, one by one okay so what to do this select this cell and uh, type uh, for subject uh, business studies i typed uh, next line i need uh, to type okay what to do that select alt and enter see you can see the column the line came down then i'm typing 
I need next line alt enter okay so in one cell flash fill it is very useful use of k it's alphanumerical code english letter and the uh, numer numerals also so i need to extract uh, i need to cut this uh, numerical code only in this column to do what to do here we are using flash fill okay simply i am typing first one the digit uh, 6 4 5 6 is the number i am typing here and i need them number only i i explain to the computer now we have to use a flash fill okay and how to make it with the um, shortcut you uh, you type this one then control plus e see all the numbers all the numbers only extracted and uh, given just like uh, in the second uh, second method the second uh, situation which we are using the flash fill is uh, see in this last name is in the first column and first name is in the uh, second column we need uh, the full name first name and second name for that type only first name that is a uh, arrow and the next uh, next name in one column so we gave uh, we have given the instruction to the computer we need it like this now control plus e see all the names together i got and one more thing this is only two or three or five or six names and numbers okay but in some cases when customers customer list like if you are getting more than 10,000 or more than 1000 more than 500 lists are there it is not easy to do manually so at that time it will help you you it will help you to extract like this and to join like this by using this code shortcut okay control plus e don't forget control plus e so now here it is uh, some emails in the email names also I, we need only the name so you um, type only the name and uh, control e we are getting all the name only and next extract the first name and last name in this column between the first name you type uh, you type a uh, second name okay then control E, we got a second name. So, very easily we can extract the uh, names into separate, separate, means into first name and second, last name. The same, by using the same flash fill, we can do one more thing. That is also very useful. Some teachers are struggling to make the names into capital or into the small or in proper in three different ways we can make it uh, how to do this this if your name is a small letter we can make it a capital by using the same method of flash fill that also i will show you very easily see here i am typing full name like a uh, uh, full 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 in capital letter okay i typed uh, then control e i got all the names in full 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 capital letter and i need a small letter in small letter we need the name so i am typing the name in small letter see then control plus e all small letters all the names i got in small letter and in pop proper first name i need a capital first first letter only i need a capital so first name I type the capital A and J capital. Okay, like this I need. So, control plus E. See, I got only first name, only first letter, only capital of each name. Okay, this is a method. Hello friends, I hope you understood all these shortcuts. I think it will be very, very helpful to you. And um, if you, if you like it, you subscribe to get this type of video to you. Uh, when i am when i am publishing and uh, if you like it you share with others uh, we will meet again with a new topic next time till then goodbye